this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. for this heavyweight fight. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> for this one. Ready. Good. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Investing in the body with the kick there. Oh, nice. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming. We'll work with that jab. Jab lands. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, strike lands cleanly there, champ. Huge block there. Just over three minutes to go. Unable to land on the uppercut there, but now starting to use that reach advantage. Ooh, sidekick, well timed there. Just out of range with that right hand. Leg kick is there. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Closes the gap and gets the single collar tie now. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his attack and low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. 
Lee's kick is blocked. Ooh, big shot lands. Nice straight punch. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Nice liver shot lands. Oh, great block there. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. He's taking too many of these shots at top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting. He's being reactive. You got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Nice side kick. 30 seconds to go now. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Oh, big knee to the body. Man alive. Final seconds of round one. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, Ready. he made it to the end Ready. of that round. Second round underway. All right, so here we go with our next round. Certainly a seminal moment in that previous round as he rocked him and nearly got him out of there. We'll see who has the upper hand now here moving forward. That was a huge moment for him in that round. He found his shot, rocked his opponent, couldn't get the finish, but he had to feel good walking back to the corner and now getting back off of the stool to start the next round. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Side kick. Oh, back and forth we go. Yeah, left hook found its target. Sets up that leg kick beautifully. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Nice defense there. Huge block. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Nice combination lands to the head. Three minutes and change to go in round two. to the left hand now, unable to connect. To the body in it lands. Once you can take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Those are a lot of kicks. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Keep going again. Going again. Circling away towards the left now. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast 
at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Now some separation from his clutch position. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Lee. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut. Maybe. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. 90 seconds to go in round two. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eights. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Blachowicz, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Under a minute. Beautiful placement on that flying knee. Oh, my goodness. Oh, nice right in. Just misses with the jab there. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his striking. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, and he does a great job of doing just that. Fast, hard head kick there. Nice straight right, Lance. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they're Flying through the air, and he lands the knee. Oh. Ten minutes Stop. in the can. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. to the dome by Lee. Oh, that's a heavy kick downstairs. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Jeez, you can hear that. <laughs> strikes he is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on got to be careful here though not to gas out just missed with the leg kick hook lands Lee's nose is bleeding now yes looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent 
is stunned. Drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Three minutes to go in round three. Both guys appeared to land there. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Lee swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. There's that kick. Back to the jab now, no good. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. All right, single collar tie now. Good eyes to not take that shot. Blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer theoretically to the end of the fight. Yeah, and you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you gotta try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's gonna have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for headhunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage, where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly that, and it's showing in his opponent's face with all that swelling. All right, less than a minute here to go now. Oh, that's the biggest shot of the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, you got to like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Final seconds of the round. Oh. Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring and then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl, seminal moments on both sides, and the fight is still going on. Incredible. Great moments by both of these fighters. Let's see who can continue down the path and really try and finish this fight. Oh, nice kick. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He can take about the accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Lee's not making things easier on the opponent right now, continuing to target that damaged nose, and that strike certainly found the target. Very fast jab lands for him. Oh, that's gonna stop 
Holding him up. Massive knee to the body. Missed with that attempt. Strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing, he's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here so he can engage and really spring in there with a couple big strikes. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, that jab alerted his opponent. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. Clipped him with a right hand there. Oh, beautifully placed shot to the leg. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Solid kick lands here. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel oh. Cormier. He got the oh. kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Under two minutes here to go round four. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, that cut on his nose is only getting worse. Not good. Unable to... Oh, he smells blood in the water. Got to start looking for the finish here. And back to his feet. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just gotta find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited and you wanna finish him because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Sidekick. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Oh man, that cut is nasty. Superman punch lands. He loaded up there on that kick. All right, so the referee, yes, is going to step in here. He will call on the doctor to look at that nose that is unrecognizable at this stage of the fight. His nose is broken. Yeah. I mean, it's turned sideways, the blood's pouring, going down into his mouth. It looks like he's having a very difficult time breathing. Doctor talking to the referee, and as if to say, I've seen worse. Wow. Fight's gonna continue, the fans love. This dude chose violence when he showed up to work fight? today. Ready. All right, so some pretty significant adversity here, but the fight is going to continue. The doctor has left, and the ref gets us back underway. Gets us right back underway, and it doesn't seem like there was too much thought into it. It looked like they were going to let him fight, and that's exactly what they did, and I could not be happy. Oh, nice combination, yeah. for the end of round four. All right, we're gonna stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, DC, we'll get a few clips of the damage done in that previous round. That eye continues to be the main target. I mean, he is getting hit in this position and it's all about now where is the cut? Is it above the eye? Is it below the eye? But every time you get hit in that area, it is going to sting, and the bleeding will then cause issues to your sight. He's got to change something. You ready to fight? Ready. 
Here we go, fifth and final round. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. This guy cannot miss the head with his strikes. Oh, big knee. All right, so another nice strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight IQ, John. We talk about his ability to recognize his advantages. That's exactly what he's doing. The moment he saw that cut, I knew that would become his focus. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice punishing kick to the body. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the three. Oh, massive knee up top. Lee gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Well, at this point, he's to get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. He's got to get him. Back to his feet. Jack. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Nice punch lands over the top. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants uh -huh. that. Even trained professional fighters. Right. Oh! Oh! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 12 seconds of round number five. We're playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since...